Part 2. Silver Snow. Garland Moon. Conclusion of the Crossing Roads. After storming the streets of Enbar and bringing Imperial forces to their knees, the Resistance Army surrounds the Imperial Palace. To topple the Empire and save Rhea from its clutches, the Resistance Army steals itself for battle against Emperor Edelgard. Everyone, it is quite probable that Rhea is within the castle walls. We must defeat Edelgard and rescue Rhea in one fell swoop, no matter what stands in our way. She is one of your students. I understand your desire for a path to peace, but she will never bend to our will. You do understand that, do you not? We have no choice but to kill her. We have already killed Hubert. Now is no time to hesitate. She has it coming. After all, she started this war. Someone has to stop her, and that someone is us. As her former classmates, I feel we owe it to her to try talking it out. This battle will be a deciding one. I am believing that it is her wish to be facing us. Poor Aidy. <sighs> Professor, wherever you lead, I'll follow. I... I'll fight with all I got to save Lady Rhea. In the name of the Knights of Seros, we'll bring the hammer down on the Imperial Army. The lives of Lady Rhea and everyone here are more important than all else. I shall be prepared. I leave this mission in your hands. Say the word, and we shall begin.
They've made it into the palace, but it's actually the perfect chance to turn the tables on them. Defeating them all will turn the tide of war instantly. Taking a risk on dragging us back from the brink is the only option. Everyone, prepare for a bitter struggle. Victory to the Adrestian Empire! The throne room is tightly locked, but wherever there are locks, there are also keys. to die, huh? Guide me well. That is all. Room to grow? Why not? I'm getting used to this. What's my strategy? Ready and able. More fighting. Let's clean up. Onward! Watch and learn! Get off.
all is going to plan. Well done. I feel my strength building. This could turn the tides. Feels good to fight for a cause. I'll grow as strong as I can. Fine work. It won't be in vain. Press on. Must stay the course. What did you expect? Lament your weakness. My apologies.
Infiltrators! Kill them! I must confess, I never imagined that you would be able to pursue me this far. I don't mean to belittle your skills, Professor, but you far surpassed my expectations. Inform the troops. Destroy anyone who sets foot in the throne room. <laughs> Going for the kill! Sending their numbers. Old, same old. Battle does have its benefits. Now you'll learn. I have made my peace.
Offense! Must lead them well. I'll use this power for the greater good. That's a win for everyone. Had to be done. vanquish her alone. So I will join you in this battle, but if I fall, leave me. My only wish is for Edelgard's head.
Stay the course. Good going. <laughs> Destiny unfurled. numbers.
Once I've decided you're done, you're done. It's over! Another victory. Reassuring. Too skilled. Block off the stairwells. Stop their reinforcements from getting through. Now you'll learn. A necessary sacrifice. Same old, same old. Edelgard, return Rhea. Release your grip on Fodlin. If you strike me down, they will return. I cannot permit what you desire. You are a child of the goddess. You must not be allowed power over the people. Behold our strategy! Professor, I suppose you think you can defeat me, is that right? But I will never give up. Even if my arms and legs failed me, I would still find a way to move forward. I will smash that false goddess and her minion into the ground. I will fight to free this world from her vile grasp. Allow me to demonstrate! 
Each other. If you do not act now, this conflict will go on forever. Your path lies across my grave. It is time for you to find the courage to walk it. If I must fall, let it be by your hand. with you. At last, it is over. Now we must find Rhea. Professor, brother, I have a letter. The Imperial General asked me to deliver this to my instructor. Who is it from? Hurry up, Professor. Read it at once. It is from... Hubert. Though he has left this world, he's reaching out through that letter. If you are reading this letter, that means I have perished. As Her Majesty would never surrender to another, I can only assume she has fallen as well. It greatly pains me to think of this coming to pass. That said, as the survivors, I must ask you to settle certain affairs in our stead. You must destroy the threat that slithers in the dark. I am sure you must recall Monica and Tomas. Their allies yet live. They hold deep resentment against the children of the goddess and the people of the world. And they are biding their time until they can exact revenge. If left to their own devices, it is certain they will eventually bring unimaginable calamity and suffering to the world. I detected their sorcery when you took Fort Mercius. I have deduced the location of their stronghold, Shambhala. You will find its whereabouts enclosed. There is no question that they are the enemies of everyone in Fodlan. Do not allow yourselves to forget that. Lastly, while I cannot say she is in good health, the Archbishop resides in a secret chamber in the Imperial Palace. I have shared the location of the entrance to that secret chamber with the person to whom I have entrusted this letter. I believe that Her Majesty will be victorious. Even still, I must plan for her defeat as well. If you wish to lead this world, I challenge you to rise to the occasion and surpass my estimation of you. Such is your obligation as the victors. And the only fitting tribute to all that Lady Edelgard sacrificed. What Hubert has written here, I cannot... <sighs> no. I know it must be true. And if that is the case, then all else makes sense now. I must speak with Rhea. It seems our battle is not over just yet. Those who slither in the dark. We must kill every last one of them. Or Fodlin will never again know peace. They are allies of Monica and Tomas, correct? The ones who are after my blood. And also the ones who destroyed Fort Mercius with that mysterious light. We shall discuss this more after we have rescued Rhea. You... You have come to save me. Is this... Is this a dream? I have long 
longed to see you again. All this time. Is it truly you? Zetith. Flame. You are here as well. Thank you for supporting the Professor. And for rescuing me. Rhea. I am overjoyed that you are unharmed. I could not stand losing another of our kind. Yes. I am reminded of the past. Of reuniting in Enbar. It is truly nostalgic. I would love nothing more than to lose ourselves in memories of the old days, but... I must tell you something, Rhea. We have received incredible news, albeit from the Empire. They have told us the identity of our enemy. Those who slither in the dark. It is time for us to stop hiding the truth about the Goddess. The Progenitor God. The truth about us. It is time for us to tell the people everything. Those who slither in the dark. We are told they despise the children of the Goddess, as well as those who live above ground. They are planning something horrible. Please, tell the Professor everything about these vile people. There must be things that only you know. I understand. Dear child, I will now tell you all that I know. It is true that there is a group of people who have slithered in the darkness and threatened the peace of Fodlim since ancient times. I am sure you have heard the stories of a man named Nemesis. Nemesis, the King of Liberation. The man who received the sword of the Creator from the Goddess and became a hero. However... Nemesis was originally the leader of a group of bandits. He plundered the Holy Tomb and stole the remains of the Progenitor God. When Nemesis appeared in Xenado some time later, he already wielded the sword of the Creator. Red Canyon. We journeyed there five years ago, do you recall? I do not know how Nemesis obtained the sword, or why he appeared in Xanado. But he used that sword to massacre the people there, the children of the Progenitor God. From their corpses he gained even more power, and brought war to Fodlin. A mere bandit like Nemesis would not have been capable of anything so monstrous on his own. It was surmised that someone was collaborating with Nemesis, and there was a massive investigation to uncover who it was. But the truth was never discovered. I am now certain that his accomplices were those who slither in the dark. And this time, they have utilized the Imperial Army to send Fodlan back into the flames of war. So... Edelgard has made a temporary alliance with them in order to achieve her own aims. Professor, we must journey to Shambhala and stop them. You must not allow Fodlin's bloody history, the Red Canyon tragedy, to repeat itself. 